It starts now. You're watching 12 News Today. Coverage you can count on. And good morning, TGIF. I'm Mark Soliday. And I'm Julie Coates. And a good start. Now, Action News 24. Good morning, Yuri, at 5.30. It's Friday morning, and after agreeing over the Maris Res... You're watching Good Morning Erie with Amanda Barron. Get your exclusive Newswatch 35 Storm Team forecast throughout the day by tuning your radio to Classy 100, the best variety of the 80s, 90s, and today. Good Friday morning. I'm Ray Pell, and your Storm Team forecast... You're watching Channel 3 News with Lydia Espara and Scott Newell. Get updated. PAX 23 News is made possible by our founding sponsors, including your local Ford store. Live from downtown Akron, this is PAX 23 News with Eric Mansfield. Weather with Mark Nolan and sports with Jim Donovan. Yeah, it's rough for everybody. It doesn't matter where you work. 19 Action News at 6 starts right now. You're watching Cleveland CBS 19. Live. Everywhere news is breaking. 19 Action News at 6 starts now. Teen twin sisters killed in a dead... Say the restructuring. Now, the KDK 10 o'clock news on UPN Pittsburgh. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us at 10. Tonight, three years, less you're alone. Why are pet owners abandoning them? And want to know what Pennsylvania's new state slogan is? KDK TV News at 11 starts right now. Now, KDK TV News at 11. But first, a cruel irony. A father and son. KDK. This is Channel 6 News at Sunrise with Bill Brown, Sarah Burgett, and meteorologist Dan Skalski with the Channel 6 Severe Weather Team forecast. Coming up on Channel 6 News, we'll tell you what kind of help is on the way. We're trading. Question. <laughs> Channel 4 Action News, brought to you in part by Room Concepts. This is WTAE, Channel 4, Pittsburgh. Right now, Channel 4 Action News is taking action for you. Right now on Action News, a house charred. Why police are calling the fire suspicious and how the... Channel 4 Action News is taking action for you. Live with Kelly Fry. Wendy Bell, Donato Weather Watch 4 meteorologist Jerry Martz, Ellen Gamble with Traffic Watch 4, and home of Sky 4. Channel 4 Action News this morning continues. Welcome back, Pittsburgh, and good morning to you on... PCNC celebrates 10 years of delivering local news and talk on cable. Thanks for watching the Pittsburgh Cable News Channel. Now, Fox 66 News at 10, Erie's only primetime news choice. A group of local parents has lost the fight. Tomorrow will officially be the last day of classes at a local Catholic school, plus some families gathered at a picnic tonight to support each other. We'll tell you what they have in common. Stay tuned. 12 News is next. You're watching WICU 12. Coverage you can count on. This is 12 News at 11. Tomorrow will be a sad day for one area Catholic school. Good evening. Now, KDK TV News this morning. In overnight news, a family is saved from a burning fire in Armstrong County thanks to some quick thinking by their neighbors. If you're catching a their lives to save another, that is tonight's big local story. Covering Albuquerque and all of New Mexico, you're watching KRQE News 13 at 10. Good evening. They are brave, they are skilled, and tonight, they're skilled. Now, live from the Newsplex, Dick Niffing and Erica Ruiz, this is KRQE News 13, balanced news coverage. More agents along the border, more cameras. You're watching Action 7 News live at 10 with Doug Fernandez. Diane Anderson, Chief Meteorologist Joe Diaz, and Bob Brown Sports. Coverage you can count on.
He was an Albuquerque police officer on his... Y ahora, Noticias Univisión Nuevo México. En vivo desde Albuquerque. Noticias Univisión Nuevo México. Edición nocturna. Estamos a su lado. Un hombre dice que un árbol amenaza con caerse y destruir su casa. Nadie lo escucha. Nosotros. Your home for WWE SmackDown. Thursdays at 7. UPN 50. You're watching KAZQ, New Mexico's family station. There's only one, two. Casa TV Fox 2 with New Mexico's only primetime newscast one hour earlier. This is your news at 9. Another mysterious package in Albuquerque. Now on Eyewitness News 4. More wild weather around New Mexico and Albuquerque's getting pounded too, including an Arroyo rescue. A New Mexico soldier's parents get the worst possible news. Their son is not coming back from Iraq alive. One sheriff's deputy's deft hand is the force behind a lot of arrests, and it has nothing to do with using her gun. This is Eyewitness News 4 at 6. Just moments ago, a man was pulled from the fast-moving water near Montgomery and Carlisle. Bernalillo County until 7. Details coming up in the Pinpoint Forecast. Working for you with Tom Joles, Carla Aragon, meteorologist Larry Rice, and J.P. Murrieta with sports. This is Eyewitness News 4 at 6 on KOB TV. I... Battleground Basra, British troops tell IGB News the city is spiraling out of their control. We came under attack from the side of look, what looked like to be an ambush, rocket propelled grenades, uh, small arms fire, blast bombs. A new crisis in Iraq as our troops face the constant threat of ambush. Also tonight, up and up, record oil prices to hit us all in the pocket. Medal medal, the Briton who raced to victory in the cycling. And Junior Doctor, how this four-year-old's quick thinking saved his mum. Good evening. An ITV news team has seen firsthand how the British military is losing. This is Eyewitness News, the news leader. With Diana Williams, Sade Berenois, and Sam Champion with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 5. Shock tonight in a Brooklyn church where police say a reverend raped an 11-year-old altar boy. And tough training for New York City police as they get ready for convention protests and the possibility of violence. Good evening, everyone. I'm Tim Fleischer in for Sade Batarinois. And I'm Diana Williams. Our top story tonight, 20 counts of sexual abuse. Of Eyewitness News, we thank you for watching. I'm Diana Williams. And I'm Tim Fleischer. Eyewitness News at 6 starts now. This is Eyewitness News, the news leader. With Bill Bitter and Liz Joe, Scott Clark with sports, and Sam Champion with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 6. Tonight, protests says hundreds of thousands of New Yorkers may be at risk of losing their driver's license. A clock, time for the news. Coverage you can count on starts now. This is WBTW News 13 at 11. Pakistani police have arrested another person in connection with the... Their storm on the horizon. When do we hit the saturation point? Live from the Bay Area's news station, this is Cron 4 News at 11. 
Good evening, everyone. Happy New Year. I'm Tom Sinkovich. And I'm Pam Moore. We are just... This is NBC6 News at 5. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Tony Segreto. And I'm Julia Yarbo. Jackie Nesbrough has the night off. When forecasting South Florida's storms, NBC6 has the resources and knowledge to deliver the information you need. Day in and day out, expect accuracy. NBC6 Weather, South Florida's news leader. <laughs> NBC6 News at 6 starts right now. Life after Hurricane Francis, the storm... Tonight on the new show. I'm so sorry. He, he would never have done this had he been okay. A heartbreaking apology from the mother of the man police say killed two of their own. Her story, that story, next on the new show. A five-year-old boy is killed, police say, by his father. I'm, Sa I'm Scott McGill. I have more on what led up to this terrible crime coming up. Is there trouble on the way for Charles Barkley? Find out what police in Philadelphia are looking into tonight. Her game on the court is something to fear. Now she's got the outfit to match. Get a look at what Serena Williams was wearing on center court. From News Channel 3, this is the new show. Two Phoenix police officers shot dead, along with the suspected... Usted está en sintonía de Telemundo, KDR, Canal 48, Phoenix, Arizona. En este apartamento murieron trágicamente dos oficiales de policía. Enseguida le diremos cómo es que todo esto pasó. Un pequeño de cinco años murió asesinado presumiblemente a manos de su padre. El sospechoso también intentó quitarse la vida. Cada día es más imperiosa la necesidad de empleados bilingües en las entidades del gobierno. El Estado anima a sus trabajadores a aprender el español. So it is my privilege to proclaim the 2004 Republican National Convention in session and call it to order. El presidente Bush quiere quedarse en la Casa Blanca otros cuatro años. La Convención Nacional Republicana está en Nueva York para apoyarlo, mientras en las calles las protestas no se hicieron esperar. Los republicanos tienen cuatro días de tributos uh, a, su a su liderazgo en tiempos de guerra y a su respuesta. Live, late breaking, investigative. CBS 5 News at 6.30 starts right now. Good evening, I'm Diana Sullivan. And I'm Jason Berry, in for Catherine and Aya. Right now, there is grief, anger, and a demand for answers following the shooting deaths of two Phoenix police officers. CBS 5 News is unraveling some... The fines you could be facing. Live, late breaking, investigative. This is the Valley's only live 6.30 newscast. CBS 5 News at 6.30. This fall, we'll be talking about our lives. Miss. This is ABC 50 News, the 6 o'clock difference. A sad day in the valley as a brotherhood of officers. Continúa hospitalizado el hombre que se enfrentó a las autoridades, pero ahora desde la madre hasta la hermana de este podrían enfrentar cargos criminales. Entérese por qué más adelante. Las llamas dañaron tres negocios. Las pérdidas son miles de dólares. Le diremos dónde a continuación. Una de las zonas fronterizas de Sonora más peligrosas y transitadas por los migrantes, desde hoy contará con un módulo del Grupo Beta para orientación y rescate. Entérese dónde más adelante. Familiares y amigos llevan a cabo un lavado de autos para recaudar fondos para la cristiana sepultura de dos oficiales de la policía. Deportiva con ayuda de los nuestros, los Diamondbacks logran igualar la serie ante los Dodgers de Los Ángeles. A nivel Tucson, Oscar de la Hoya habla de su debut en esta ciudad como promotor boxístico. Tenemos la palabra del Chico Dorado. Aquí comienza Noticias Univisión 33 a las 5. Muy buenas tardes y bienvenidos. Te saluda Joana Molina. Mari Rábago se encuentra de vacaciones. 
President Bill Clinton facing his biggest challenge since leaving the White House, a major health problem. Hundreds paid tribute to a fallen Phoenix police officer, from fellow officers to complete strangers. It always just touches our hearts, you know, we just want to be out here just showing support. The rain has started to fall and the wind picking up as Hurricane Francis closes in on Florida. We'll take you there live. Gunfire and smoke. This is not a battlefield in Iraq. It's a school in Russia. This is Arizona's best. Fox 10 News at 5. Thank you for joining us. I'm Troy Hayden and for John Hook. And I'm Carrie Lake. We begin tonight with a Fox 10 weather alert. Hi, everybody. Dave Muncie in the Weather Center. Back live, it's Fox 10 News. A three-car pileup near Hamilton High School in Chandler this morning. One car landed on top of another. The accident sent a 17... Found out. Tell them you're watching the Arizona News Channel. Now there's local news when you want to see it. From Cox Communications and News Channel 3. TV can now be seen valley-wide on Channel 27, Cox Cable 13, and on the Dish Network, AZTV, Arizona's own. News Mix 6, weekdays from 6 to 8 a.m. on WB6. More fun than an alarm clock. I have... Det blir stor streik. 82 000 LO-medlemmer legger ned arbeidet i 3. mai. Store deler av norsk samfunnsliv blir rammet. Det er de høye leierlønningene som er skuld i at Norge blir kastet ut i stor streik. Det hevder statsminister Jens Stoltenberg. Passasjerfly var på nippe til å kollidere med en privatbil. 80-åring hadde forvillet seg inn på rullebanen i Bodø. Gå kveld, dette er hovedsaker i denne sendingen. Live from the Twin Cities Broadcast Center. First on Fox 9 News. She just kept saying his face, so I don't know what he's going to kill me. A triple murder. Domestic violence ends with bloodshed. Firefighter Angel L. Luarbe Jr. 9-11. The nation remembers its darkest day in history. Three years later, see what's being done to make our cities safer. Soon to be released, a new and unauthorized biography about the Bush family. But is it fact or fiction? Fox 9 News starts now. Hi, everyone. I'm Sue Turner. Tim Bloss is off tonight. Three people are dead and one man is in custody. Games are on Fox 9. This is Fox 9 News with Sue Turner, Tim Bloss, meteorologist Mike Nico, and sports with Jim Rich. Jamaica misses the full force of Hurricane... This is the 10 o'clock news. A random act of kindness left a good Samaritan needing a rescue of his own. Tonight, family members talk about the 17-year-old clinging to life after being trapped under a car. Doctors say the outlook isn't good for the teen, but family members are holding on to every last bit of hope. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jordana Green. I'm Chris Canangelo. The 17-year-old stopped to help a woman change her... This is WCCO 4 News at 6. Thanks for watching tonight. I'm Don Shelby. I'm Randy Kay. When you call... This is WCCO 4 News at 10. They were summer camp counselors. Leading with more news. This is 5 Eyewitness News at 6. You're watching 5 Eyewitness News at 10 with Cindy Brocato, Dave Dahl with weather, and Joe Schmidt with sports. 
It's a bird, it's a... Back to school blues. The summer is what pays the bills in this business. Why this year, resort owners are feeling it even more than students. Plus, terrorism inside a Russian school. The latest on a frightening hostage standoff. But first, case dismissed for Kobe Bryant. The victim has informed us, after much of her own labored deliberation, but she does not want to proceed. Tonight, how the NBA star is responding to the news. This is CARE 11 News at 10. Thanks for joining us. The case collapsed tonight after Bryant's accuser said she no longer wanted... You're watching WPBW News Channel 7, Evansville. Now, your local news at 9. This is News Channel 7, Primetime Edition. School employees in Kentucky are... This is WPBW News Channel 7 with Randy Moore, Jackie Monroe, Chief Meteorologist Ron Rose, and Sports Director Mark McVicker. News Channel 7 Primetime Edition is on your side. Adults want to keep it for themselves. Jacksonville together, 17 and you. From Jacksonville, it's News Watch 17. News with Tom Daniels. Weather with Rufus Hafer. Sports with Glenn Fisher. News Watch 17, the new choice for news. Good evening, I'm Tom Daniels. It will be another day or two before the Navy recovers all the wreckage of that C-131. Join us again at 11. Stay tuned now for a commentary from Channel 17 Vice President and General Manager John Raddick. And then NBC News. Good night. Newswatch and Sky 17. We'll take you there. From Jacksonville, it's Newswatch 17. News with Jim McElroy and Debbie Ferrero. Sports with Glenn Fisher. Weather with Rufus Hafer. Newswatch 17, the new choice for news. From WJKS, it's Newswatch 17. News with John Nicholson. Sports with Irv White. And weather with Sam Champion. This is Newswatch 17, Saturday. Good evening. It is now three times it has happened since the... You're watching WJKS, Jacksonville's Emmy Award-winning news station. And now, News Watch Jacksonville. News with Jim McElroy and Debbie Ferrero. Weather with Sharon Graves. And sports from Glenn Fisher. This is News Watch Jacksonville. Jacksonville's on the verge of getting to tell you how long they'll last and what the rest of our week looks like. You're watching WJKS, Channel 17, home of News Watch Jacksonville. News with Debbie Ferraro and Doug McElway. AccuWeather with Kathy Turner. Sports with Irv White. And now, Newswatch Jacksonville. You've probably seen this truck in your neighborhood belonging to a very successful local contractor. Tonight, he's our... WJKS, Jacksonville's Emmy Award-winning news station. And now, Nightwatch Jacksonville. News with Debbie Ferraro and Jim McElroy. First weather with Sharon Graves and sports from Glenn Fisher. This is Nightwatch Jacksonville. Chest x-rays, a routine test for millions of us, one of 15 tests that are about to be the winds of tomorrow's forecast. 
And now, News Watch Jacksonville. News with Debbie Ferraro. Weather with Kathy Turner. And sports from Glenn Fisher. This is News Watch Jacksonville. Jacksonville's Lois Malfers holds up. This is TV4's Eyewitness News with Tom Wills, Deborah Giannolis, meteorologist George Wendling with weather, Sam Kuvaris with sports, and the area's most watched news team. Hello, everybody. As one city council member... WTLV TV 12, Jacksonville. Making good things happen for the First Coast, this is tonight's News on 12 with Marcia Leidendorf, Lee Webb, meteorologist Tim Deegan, and Harmon Wages with sports. I'll just buy two or three tickets every time I... 30 starts right now. Live from WKMG, the problem solvers. This is Local 6 News at 5.30. Afternoon storms start a devastating house fire. Starts right now. Live from WKMG, the problem solvers. This is Local 6 News at 6. The city of Orlando investigating the actions of their own firefighters tonight. Yep. Two, President Bush versus Senator Kerry tonight. The race for the White House goes to Middle America, St. Louis, a town hall debate, Iraq's future, the economy at home, defining the national interest for the future. From NBC News, Decision 2004, the presidential debates. From Washington University in St. Louis, Missouri, here is Tom Brokaw. Good evening from the campus of Washington University in St. Louis. This is News 25 at 6. In a story... You're watching News 25 at 6 with anchors Brad Bird, Shelley Kirk, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart, and Sports Director Lance Wilkerson. This is News 25 at 6. Join in. Will Evansville City and Vandenberg County governments merge? Weigh in. Presidential contenders prepare for debate round two. And now the treatment for leukemia just got a little easier. Live from 14 WFIE, the Tri-State's news leader, this is Newswatch 14 at 10. VandyGov failed big time 30... News coverage of the second inauguration of President George W. Bush. From Capitol Hill, here is Dan Rather. Action 10 News is next. Now, the Wabash Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast with Erin Murphy and the Storm Team's Scott Lighty. This is the Night Watch edition of Action 10 News, WTHI. Indiana law enforcement are on a campaign to make sure your children are safe. You're watching Channel 8 Eyewitness News this morning with Charlotte Evans, Casey Smith, neighborhood weather with Sherry Swensk, and exclusive Sky Witness traffic. It's not just news, it's Channel 8 Eyewitness News. Sky. And a very good uh, Thursday morning, everybody. It's your first weather just ahead of... Live at 5. This is your local news station. CBS 4 News. Good morning. Uh, many of you will have to be uh, brushing some snow off the windshield on this Thursday morning, January 20th. The not Live at 6. This is your local news station. CBS 4 News. 
Here's what Harvard Square looks like on this Thursday morning. All across the valley, we're breaking news and solving problems. You're watching Channel 13 Action News Live. Don't pay the... Now, from the CBS4 News Studios, this is the morning news on UPN 38. Good Tuesday morning, everybody, as you're taking... You're watching News 3 at 5 with Nina Radatich, Jim Snyder, Weather with Dana Wagner, and Traffic with Tom Holly. We are News 3, where news comes first. Unless they have a religious or... Good evening, everyone. With Liz Bruner, I'm Ed Harding. Tonight, we start with... Right up. You're watching News Center 5 at 11. Local live coverage you can count on. Spent. This is the KTLA Morning News, first edition. The rain's over, but the damage is only beginning to be assessed. 2005. Live from Hollywood, this is the KTLA Morning News. Good morning. Wow, Good to what a see. beautiful day, huh? Thank Already. you for sitting down and having a little moment, moment with us as you drink your first <laughs> cup of coffee this morning. The flu season is peaking soon, but the typical winter cold season is hitting pretty hard. Taking a toll, one of golf's most famous landmarks in danger of being washed away. Live from the studios of UPN 38, this is Nightcast at 10 with Ted Wayman and Sarah Underwood. Our top story tonight, what else? The weather, another winter storm. 9.0 on the Richter scale. More than 11,000 people are now known to have been killed by a massive earthquake and the tsunamis that followed, which offense for either team in Hamilton. This one's through. Live from our Maritime News Center, ATV News Nightside, here is Paul Hollingsworth. And good evening. A homeless protest in Dartmouth turned ugly today. seen on Sunday. We'll get ready for more wet and windy weather. Good evening, everyone. A wintry mix has already started in western Massachusetts. What you are watching 7 News with Randy Price and Katerina Bandini. Chief Meteorologist Todd Gross with weather and Joe Amorosino with sports on the news station. A Brockton man read the morning paper and CFTO News with Christine Bentley and Tim Weber. Good afternoon. She saw it coming and she feared the worst. A whip CFCN News with Barb Higgins and Daryl Jans. Good evening. The mystery ballots in Ward 10 will... It's 9 o'clock. The time is right. Now, Fox 27 News at 9. Political ads are popping up everywhere, but who's paying for them? Don't... Now, 11 News at 10. As rockets fly across the skies of Iraq, targeting U.S. troops, Air Force... You're watching 11 News on KKTV, Southern Colorado's number one news channel. This is 11 News at 10. ...of cadets came one step closer to making it a reality. Good evening, I'm John Carroll. And I'm Kelly Schultz. News 13 at 10 starts now. Bringing you the latest on your world at home, this is News 13. Class of 2004. Live from the Main Street Studios, this is 2 News at 10. Pouring rain. 
fresh Monday and Tuesdays this morning. It's a beautiful day, but it's not all sunny skies in our fresh air forecast. Two jets streak across the sky at 30,000 feet with only 15 feet between them. It's an exhilarating mission with Utah's Air National Guard. Fresh Monday on Two News from 5 to 8. It's Toyota. You're watching Two News. Fresh air at 10 with Michelle King, Mark Cobell, Shauna Lake, and Bill Gephardt. KBYU Television. Thanks for watching KUED Channel 7. You're watching the number one KSL 5 Eyewitness News at 10. Oregon police say they have arrested a man they consider. You're watching KFQX, Fox 4 and Grand Junction. Junko shots, close the night. I'm sure it's Good night. We'd like to hear from you. Contact us at 242-5000. Internet service provided by ACS Online. Thank you for watching KFQX Fox 4, Colorado. We now complete another broadcast day. Tune in tomorrow and watch the Fox 4, Colorado. Good night. Now, from Southern Colorado's news leader, channels 5 and 30, this is News First at 10. I have first class does not do anything. I'm You're watching News First at 10 with Lisa Lydon, Rob Quirk, Weather First with Mike Daniels, and Lee Douglas with Sports. I'm Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Josh Witzman. We'll explain why coming up. Live from Lincoln, this is Channel 8 Eyewitness News at 6. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Dick Janda. As ABC... You're watching Channel 8 Eyewitness News at 6 with Dick Janda. The station you turn to for severe weather coverage. I was watching Channel 8 and they were telling us that it was coming. We have team coverage tonight of the storm damage. The governor getting an up close look. That means wind speeds could have been as high as 200 miles an hour. Well, it is believed that the storms we saw last night were some of the worst Nebraskans had ever seen. It is due to Channel 8 that I'm here talking to you today. Severe weather coverage when you need it most. Channel 8 Eyewitness News. Drive home. Details on that coming up. First, here's Sarah with the news. Live from KM3 Omaha, this is KM3 News at 10. I, Ronald Reagan, do solemn. You're watching KM3 News at 10 with Sarah Simmons and weather with meteorologist Sarah Walters. News that's clearly to the point. KM3 News at 10. When severe weather strikes, count on the First Warning Severe Weather Network and the combined resources of KM3 News, keeping your family safe. Chief Meteorologist Ryan McPike and the First Warning Forecasters, first with severe weather information. With 55... You're watching KETV Channel 7 Omaha. More complete coverage. This is KETV News Watch 7 at 10. A hearse carries the body of former President Ronald Reagan from his... There, balanced, first. 
This is the KPTM Fox 42 News at 9. A sad day for America.